Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. As internship season approaches, I get many questions about how much data science you really need to know before applying to or starting one of these data science related internships. I made this short video to talk you through what you should know at a high level, and I really hope it helps you along this path. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted when I post my next weekly video. If you're even remotely interested in a data science internship, my first piece of advice is that you should just start applying and interviewing as quickly as possible. The fastest way to learn what you don't know is to put yourself to the test in real world scenarios. You'll get more comfortable the more of these you do, and I think that everyone struggles in at least one interview here and there. The best motto is to fail fast and learn as much as you can from it. What you need to know varies by internship. So there's no one size fits all answer to this question. My best advice is to have a foundation in Python or R and generally an intro class in either of these languages will suffice. You should also have at least taken another intro course in statistics and these internships are not traditional jobs. They're not full-time positions. So the bar is significantly lower most of the time. There's way less risk on the company side because they know you'll only be there for a couple months and it's less expensive to take this risk on an intern than on a full salaried position. You know, that is why the interview process for interns is it's a lot easier and they let a lot more people through, especially if they have a good attitude. If you want to put your best foot forward, I recommend having an understanding of the three main types of models that you use in data science. The first is regression. The second is classification and the third is clustering. It really helps to have done projects applying these. And I recommend the video that I made about beginner projects, which I've linked above and in the description below. This can give you a good starting place and some very concrete examples for how to build out these uh, skill sets. If you wanna set yourself apart as an undergrad, you should consider doing unique projects on data that you've personally collected. For graduate internships, this is generally a requirement though. Consider checking out my data science project from scratch series if you wanna learn more about that entire process. You can also do some data analysis of your own on the types of internships that you're interested in applying for. I recommend gathering 10 to 20 different applications that you're interested in and looking at the skills that most of them require. It can greatly help your chances if you learn some of the tools and some of the skills that a lot of these applications are asking for. At the undergraduate level, no company is looking for an intern who's an expert in anything. They're expecting you to have some familiarity, some foundational knowledge, but usually not true knowledge that's applicable. One thing that I think is particularly important for internships is networking. You'd be shocked at how many of your professors and university connections know people that are looking to hire for internships. It is in these people's best interests to help you out because it looks good for them and also for the university. Definitely explore your school's resources and any other connections you might have through LinkedIn or through your family to try and find these opportunities. My first internship, there wasn't even a position listed. I just reached out and they made one for me based on the conversation we had. With these types of jobs, you really never know what could happen unless you ask. I wanna reinforce that most internships are for the growth of the intern and generally provide a smaller value to the company. If you show a clear interest in a company, in the work that they do and in learning, you can really set yourself apart. If you don't end up getting an internship, this definitely isn't the end of the world. You have many alternatives that can look just as good on your resume. First, you can try to do research with one of your professors. Strong academics or even being published in an academic journal can carry a tremendous amount of weight in the job market and in the broader data science community. If you can't find research, you can always try to find a non-paying opportunity as well. Especially while you're earlier in your college career, this is a great option. The bar to hiring someone for free is, is extremely low comparatively and you can get real world experience that can lead to a paying opportunity in the future. Finally, you can always work diligently on a small project or start a small data science related company. If I saw that someone put full focus into their work without needing direction from a supervisor or a manager, this would really impress me. Hopefully this video puts you at ease and gives you a clear direction about how to prepare for the upcoming internship search. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.